Hey, what's going on, everyone? So I'm I'm really, really going to uh, you know try to not turn this into a, a rant. I promise, you know. But considering the subject matter and the comments from an article on um, GamesIndustry.biz, you know, I, I can see me struggling to remain in control. <laughs> But, you know, basically, um, former PlayStation uh, executive uh, Sean Layden you know, recently spoke about the length of AAA games in today's market and the um, out-of-control costs involved in making these big-budget titles that can push past the 20-hour mark and how this, with the um, coming of the next generation of PlayStation consoles, is, is basically not sustainable. You know, it's, it's easy to look at this article and agree that yes, you know, so many games are crazy in length and it's a struggle sometimes to keep up with all of them. You know, but guess what? You know, it's, it's not the game's duration time that's the issue. This issue has been something that has been Sony's and Microsoft marketing grunt since the PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. And I'll leave the PlayStation 1 um, out in this case because Sony back then um, you know, um, indeed, for the most part, push for a more um, affordable console and a, a great diversity of titles. Um, mostly because they were coming into the industry for the first time, and you know they 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 wanted to stomp on Sega and Nintendo. And I suppose this was even more so than, than Nintendo with the N64. Although you know, there's other reasons behind that as well. You know, this this has nothing to do with the game's duration. This has always and. This, this has and, and always will be about these two manufacturers pushing the bigger is better thought process. And you know this fed not only into pushing the industry at full steam ahead technology wise, but also greatly, and I mean greatly, impacted gaming itself and more importantly and, and always frustratingly, gamers themselves. Um, the, the narrative of pushing realism and blockbuster Hollywood looking titles, the, the narrative of resolutions, frame rates, uh, you know, HD, 3D, 4K, Blu-ray, you know, all that jazz. You know, the, the narrative that games can only be emotional when you enlist high profile voice actors, motion capture, microtransactions, loot boxes, you know, just trying to convince us that we're all... Uh, that, all, that we're already getting too much and that the only way developers can make their money back now is to strip out the features we once used to have in our £60 retail games. Um, your immense levels of public and online marketing and, and ensuring that a certain demographic of games and genres are only pushed into the public eye. Your, all this has led gaming into the realms of where we are today. You know, it's it's not about the game's duration, you know, not at all. In you know, not not in the slightest. Uh, you know, as as always, you know, that's that's what they want you to believe. You know, all it's about, all it's ever been about, is gaming being pushed forward in such a hurry, all to cater to these non-gaming companies' other needs. You know, whether it be Sony and their TVs or Microsoft and their obsessions of online dominance across every electronic device we have in our houses. You know, it, it was about believing that if we stay at the edge, at the pinnacle of technology with everything, then we'll be the winners. And you saw how I felt after the PlayStation 5 event, um, if you watched that video, um, I said that this isn't where gaming should have gone. You know, this, this isn't where gaming should be. You know, Nintendo saw it, you know, said and, 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 and gave it to us when they created the Wii. It wasn't about trying to and keep up with Sony and Microsoft hardware-wise, your hardware grunt-wise. It was about slowing the industry down and then reminding people that the joys of gaming um, doesn't need to come in multi-million pound productions with every single major release. It, it was all about obtaining the fun and interactive gaming through both creative software and hardware. That's why the Wii sold over a hundred million consoles. And, and you might think, you know, well the, well, the PS2 done that. You know, yes, yes, it did. All because of a DVD player, people. You know, th those are the facts. Then you might say, well, the, the PS4 did that. You know, yes, it did. All because the narrative had now greatly changed against what Nintendo tried to maintain for longer. All because Microsoft went even further with pushing this bigger is better and join us online narrative. And, and, and Sony came in with, with a more affordable console, played their marketing exceptionally well and held onto it until the Switch came along. But you, you, you know what the PS4 didn't do when compared to the Wii? It didn't dive into that blue ocean that Nintendo did. And it certainly didn't become a pop phenomenon like the Wii 
became and neither did the Vita who played the same bigger is better game even you know even it that the, the Vita didn't even come close to what the D, um, to the N Nintendo DS achieved you know this this is not about game length it's, it's all about them creating an industry that now demands utter perfection in everything you're creating a gaming culture that will look at a game like The Last of Us 2 recently. You know, a game that you know only, only Chrome knows. You know what what cost to make. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it's, it's another title which triggered this article and Sony releasing um, and Sony realizing is is you know is it really worth all this money to to create something like this? You know, it's a, you know create. I suppose it's, it's it's creating a gaming culture that looks at The Last of Us 2, knows it's taken six years to make but will still knock it down into the dirt and demand from its creators that they change the entire story because it didn't, didn't live up to what they want from a Sony Hollywood-like sequel. You're acting like the original game was just so original, so mind-bendingly crazy, you know, that... <laughs> I, I'm not going to hate on that game. You know, I, I, I hated the end of the Mass Effect 3. You know, absolutely hated it. You know, but, but you didn't see me looking at Bioware and screaming, this game is trash, start it again! You know, you know, it's just there, there were a wealth of other reasons why Mass Effect 3 failed in areas, and that has also has EA written all over it. You know, amongst other things, and and we saw the final fruits of it. You know, um, um, of that influence with Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, pe people call me nuts when I say console generations finish too early. Um, you know, I started saying that since the GameCube, because when when I looked at the GameCube, when you look towards in the GameCube's life, I'm just like, man, what games on a GameCube? Look like Rogue Squadron, look like Resident Evil 4, look like FCO um, GX, look like Metroid Prime. There, there's really not many more um, that, that are up there. And it's not that other developers couldn't do it. You just, you don't have, they don't have the time. These console generations get wrapped up by, by how quickly um, some of these manufacturers want, want to move along. You know, so some people started calling me nuts. You know, um, ever since then, I, I well, since I said, you know, since the GameCube either, it could have gone on for longer. You know, but it it became even more prevalent, you know, for me during the PlayStation 3 era, and even more so now with the PlayStation 4. You know, we don't need PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series X consoles to make to continue to make great games. We don't need it. You know, Nintendo dropped Breath of the Wild on us, you know, a Wii U title. Let's remember that it was a Wii U title. You know, during the same time as Sony dropped Horizon Zero Dawn, and we know which game will change the industry the most, and it's still being talked about. You know, it's, it's Breath of the Wild all day, every day. But once again, the, the narrative of, oh, I need my game running at 60 frames per second, I need my game in 4K, I need my game looking realistic. You know, that, that's what these companies have, have, have pushed, and it's why gaming is where we are today. You know, the, the amount of developers we lost during the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era was staggering, both from Western developers and Japanese developers. You know, many of these developers just not being able to keep up with the development costs on these new platforms, and also seeing their titles in, in certain genres being laughed off the stage in the light, um, or, or even shadows of the graphically hungry titles being pushed by Microsoft and Sony, and even from these companies, the amount of studios that they got rid of or or broke down into into, into smaller groups and, and placed over here or here there and, and and everywhere because their last game, which had to look in a certain way and had to play in a certain way, didn't sell because the gaming culture just didn't accept it. You know the the the, the, the types of games that that looked and 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 played a certain way. You know the um, you know making the bulk market of gamers believe that this is what all games should look and play like when in reality for the most part they were they were being taken on a marketing ride and as we know most people fell for the hook, hook line and sinker you know well i suppose it, it, it looks like now it, it's come to bite you know them back in the ass you know but at the same time it'll be a lot worse for us a lot worse when they'll convince the market to pay large amounts for these consoles and then slowly increase the prices of games where gaming will become something else and then at the same time you know, we're convinced as gamers that we have it better, you know, now than ever before. You know, I'm sorry, people, we don't. We really don't. And do you think um, microtransactions and stuff like that are going to go away or, or, or be lessened? You know, don't, you know, don't, don't even go there. You know, don't even go there at all. You know, it's, it's, it's not about game duration. You know, it's, it's about them realizing the market they have created and seeing that their money is going down the drain. And unfortunately for us, they have taken gaming down with them. You know, just because the, the gaming industry is, is lucrative now, 
and and one of the biggest and the biggest entertainment industry you know in the world that doesn't mean the art form itself is healthy the diversity itself is healthy because it's not you know you you you, you see it even now, you know, in the papers, quotes like, you know, The Last of Us 2 finally matures gaming. You know, that's the culture Sony and others have turned this industry into, as if these things weren't done before, because they didn't look a certain way or sound a certain way. And then, um, you know, Sean finishes off the article by saying this, you know, which, I, which I've written down. Um, he says, you know, personally, as an older gamer, I would welcome a return to the 12 to 15 hour AAA game. I would finish more games, first of all, and just like a well-edited piece of literature or, or a movie, look at the discipline around that could give us tighter, more compelling content. It's something I'd like to return, it's something I'd like to see a return to in this business. You know, data out of course, you know, things we can relate to in what he just said. But trust me, behind those words are nothing more than money or what used to be money from 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 him and certainly now behind sony you know the, the the race to make games as graphically as compelling as can be in most major releases and, and the marketing pushing those as as the way games should be on the AAA market has slayed countless studios changed the industry changed gamers and is now coming back to bite us all in the ass you know talk talk about moving goalposts huh especially against you know, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a Nintendo fan, you know, and I'll I'll, I'll break Nintendo down when I when I need to, you know. But the the narrative that they push a lot of the time is what these companies now suddenly go back to or try to copy, even when they got their fan bases into the mindsets to laugh off these types of things. But oh god, you know. Anyway, I'm I'm done. Rant over. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know. Let me know your comments below, people. I'm, I'm sure this video will go down like a lead balloon. But yeah, so I, I, I don't care. <laughs> it, it needed to be said, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts below. Cheers all. Take care. Peace.